in this video, I'm going to share with you the mini dryer that I was sent to test out and give you my full thoughts about it. But I just, I have to say, looking around, if you didn't come in through the apartment door, you would not think that this was an apartment. Like, so I'm going to share with you the Morris Zero mini dryer that I have added to this room, which completes my wardrobe because now I'm able to sanitize my clothes, dry my clothes, including my delicate fabrics like silk. And I also have another mold that I'm going to share with you guys about in a few, but I'm really loving this closet like every now this video is sponsored but you know I only do videos on things that I would actually buy with my own money and this product is really nice because if you're in a small apartment and you know you don't have access to a washer and dryer this is a nice option and it's not something that you're going to buy and have to lug you know this heavy dryer from apartment to apartment it's literally 31 pounds you just pick it up you could even put it in your car and dry on the go all you need is an adapter so I'm going to share all of the things that I like about this product and then I'm going to show you guys like how I have placed it in my bedroom and all of that good stuff. So right. it doesn't come with a lot of attachments, which is really nice. It came with this rack, which I believe is for shoes. And then it also had a quick start guide and the power cord. And that is it and the dryer itself. Now this is nice if you are in a small apartment that doesn't have a wash and dryer hookup. Maybe you are doing the minivan life or a small tiny home, something of that nature. But this is definitely a solution for small spaces. All right, so let's plug it up. This is how it looks in the back. Basically, you have the power adapter back here. As you can see, it's like a little dome. And on the top, it gives you like some information about the different types of uh, settings that it has. It has a smart setting where it'll automatically calculate the drying time, which is nice. So you're not putting too much heat on your clothes. Also has a quick um, mode and that's going to allow you to experience the convenience of drying a shirt in just 15 minutes. Perfect for small loads. And then you have shirt, silk, warm, which is nice because you can actually use it as a warmer. Refresh, uh, eliminate odors with this mode instead of water and detergent. This has a UV light in here too, so that's really nice. Um, use the rack for drying your shoes. So it says use the drying rack to dry items such as shoes and hats. Stop the tumbling. Okay, so it's going to stop tumbling. And then you have sanitize where you can uh, experience clean and hygienic clothes, eliminating up to 99.9% of bacteria and germs. So that is pretty nice. The display itself looks pretty modern. All right, now let's look at these buttons on the top because you have the minus, the plus, and then you have the on and off and you can lock them. It is a trout proof lock. And then the modes that I mentioned earlier, you can actually select them using the little arrow that kind of looks like a, a shuffle sign. That's the uh, mode selection. Okay. And there's eight different modes that you can choose from, which is nice. The Morris has the capacity to have clothes up to this line here, this mini dryer. Um, you can fit clothes up to the pretty much the midpoint. To open it, you simply pop it open and it's not super deep. I mean, you see where my hand is. Not super deep. We're definitely going to test this thing out. Okay. It weighs 31.3 pounds and it uses 1,000 watts to 1,300 watts. Which that's not bad because this is actually the same wattage as my microwave. And this is what the rack looks like. So to apply the child proof lock, then you have to hold the minus and the plus sign down at the same time to turn off or on the child proof lock. I'm excited to try this out. So we connected the power cord and then we press the plus button, but I think there's a switch back here that we need to make sure is on. Okay, yeah, so I turned that switch on. So now that that switch is on, I'm going to remove the rack because I want to see it spin. All right, 
press the little button and then once you press that button then all of the little lights come on at the top and it tells you what mode it's in if I press this button here you see how it switches from mode to mode so I'm gonna stick with the smart mode and see what it does because there's nothing in there so let's see how much time it gives me all right so now you want to open the door you want to put some clothes in there let me see because you know I got some clothes right <laughs> yeah your girl has clothes that need to be dried there's always laundry okay never a day that we do not have laundry all right so let's try let's try a few items out um, okay this is four pieces and we're just gonna put them in here okay it says closed door okay I hear you I hear you all right so that is four pieces it's not quite filled to the top I don't know if you can see because it's kind of bright it says to close the door and press the uh, mode button which is this one and we selected the smart and then it says press the power button on the device to start all right so now we started it oh hold on oh there it is it's going okay all right it's drying it is drying this the instructions are super simple by the way the drum stops rotating and all done display on the screen indicates the drying is completed take the clothes out so it's estimated for those few items 34 minutes and 40 something seconds and counting some cool air that's being pushed out it's not a lot just a little which is nice okay all right let's see how much time is left 15 minutes and i don't think that it should take that long let's see it has 15 minutes left so it's pretty much dry this might be a little damp but these are completely dry so are these yeah not bad um collects dog hair i think you can wipe this off though all right, here's my final thoughts about the Morris Zero Mini Dryer. I like that you do not have to assemble anything, you literally just take it out of the box and plug it up. That is super refreshing. And I also like that it has the different modes. So I would say that the smart mode is probably my favorite because you don't have to do anything, you just press a button and it calculates everything. I like that mode, I like the shoe mode, and I like the sanitization mode, and the warmer. I think I'm becoming addicted to warmers. I love them. Um, whether you're getting out of the shower or if you're in a cold climate, I really wish I had this when I lived in Illinois because when I tell you getting dressed was rough, but it would definitely have been nice to have a warmer during those cold winter months when I had to get out and shovel snow yeah so i like that um what else i like that the drum is steel and it uses like a convection type of energy um there is no hot air being emitted from the machine it's like a nice little cool air it's not super loud um, i mean you do know that it's on but it's not like crazy loud i would probably say it's about the same just a little bit quieter than a hairdryer. So I like that it doesn't move. It, the, the design is pretty stable. I really like that the smart mode allows you to dry your clothes without over drying them because if you invest in expensive clothing, the last thing you want to do is dry them. But if you have to, you definitely don't want to over dry them. You know what I mean? You want to get it just to the point where the water has been removed from the garment but not to the point where it's starting to shrink the fibers in the garment and i really love like i said the shoe rack i've seen people using it um like flat but i turn my shoes upside down because it just makes sense for me you know the convection usually has air moving kind of like the air fryer right but we're not frying shoes but you get what i'm saying like that air motion when you flip the shoe upside down, you're allowing that air to get into the shoe, which is nice. So I'm definitely going to be using the um, shoe mode on Bay shoes as well as the sanitization because he works long hours and wears boots. So I'm definitely going to be using it for that. But 
Overall, really nice product. If you're interested, check out the link in the description box down below. Uh, it is a commission link, so I will earn some commission off of it. But again, this is really nice to have because if you want to move, you don't have a huge appliance to carry with you. It's literally like 31 pounds, so you could take it you know, to your next place or you could take it in a car or wherever. The Morris dryer can be purchased in like a black charcoal kind of color or white. I chose the white just to keep the theme going. So yeah, that is the Morris zero mini dryer in a nutshell let me know what you think in the comment section down below and as always don't forget be you be beautiful be chic and i'll see you on the next upload later boo